All right, let's get started. OK, so welcome back to the Pleasure Palace. That is the Billy Four Rocks Garage. OK, I noticed the other day I had a leaky seal just on the left hand side. I've fixed that leaky seal by using the seal mate. If you've seen those things, little bits of plastic, you just run around the seal there and it gets rid of any bits of grit and, and, and muck that's uh, causing the leak. That sorted the problem. If you haven't seen one of those seal mates in action, I'll leave the link down below for you. Okay, in cleaning that, I noticed about a third of the way up this fork leg, there's quite a bad bit of pitting and rust spots. So obviously when this fork is getting compressed, those rust spots and pitting is rubbing against the uh, seal, which isn't doing it any favors. So I checked out on YouTube, which of course, as we all know, is the font of all knowledge. And a way to alleviate or get rid of pitting and rust spots on fork legs, apparently is by using 1500 grit or thereabouts uh, sandpaper with WD-40. I've got 2000 grit. Uh, so I'm going to use that just to play it safe. It's only in a sort of sp specific area here, so um, we should be good. So uh, I'm going to give that a try. But I've got to show you the dramas, the dramas I had trying to get this mudguard off. I'll bring you over. Have a look at this. Look at the state of those two. They're supposed to look like that. But mine look like this. And why do they look like this? Because they would not come off. So basically I tried to use one of these um, screw head remover things where you basically bore out a hole and then you put that in. It's got like a sort of reverse thread. So sh the idea is it pulls it out. That didn't work. I then used the impact driver. Uh, no joy on that either. So in the end, I basically had to pop to B&Q get a tiny little angle grinder head for the for the Dremel, a cutting disc for the Dremel, drill a, uh, like a, like a ridge going straight through it. And then I, I tried using a flathead screwdriver to turn it that way, no good. So in the end, I put the head of the flathead screwdriver on the edge of the ridge and I just tapped it out and banged it out of a hammer and eventually it just let go and turned. Honestly, look at the, like the, the struggles I have with, <laughs> with stubborn nuts and bolts. It's unbelievable. Right, anyway, enough of that. I've got new ones, they're here, so I'm gonna put those ones on. We're gonna do both sides, so let's get this off. What? What are you doing? My camera's just gone mad. Okay, well, my camera's had some sort of terminal malfunction. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know what's going on with that camera, but uh, it ain't working. So I've gone back to the old trusty dog and bone. So let me show you the the pit in there. Um, it's, it feels pretty pretty rough. So I'm going to give that a going over. I'll tell you what, a can of WD-40, some sandpaper and a tissue. Saturday nights ain't what they used to be. Actually, my Saturday nights have always been like that. <laughs> right, before I do anything, give it a quick clean. Microfiber cloth, bit of uh, T7, which is basically like soapy water. Before I start putting any, you know, sandpaper on it. Even if it is 1500 grit, I don't want to rub any existing dirt into the chrome. You know. Well, obviously you want to spray it away from your discs. I'm just going to remove any excess WD-40 I've got on there. All right, that looks to be okay, I think. Okay, let's turn you around. Just get, just get cracking, would you, Billy? It's the 2000, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit better. 
I think 2000 is uh, possibly the safest bet. Have a little feel. Oh yeah. Well, that feels a million times better. Still a little bit rough. I'm gonna go over it a few more times. But like I said, the other side is worse, so. That's it, it's done. Bloody hell, that's done a brilliant job. Just a tiny little bit up there. Oh yes. Oh, Billy boy, and your 2,000 grit paper. Okay, let's take you around the back, see how that looks. It feels a million times better. Oh God, that's so much better. So let's, uh, let's do this side now, let's see how this goes. Sets off. Obviously, I don't want it dripping anywhere. I just want it on the paper. So that's how I'm doing it, just like that. Just so it's kind of damp with it. Let's get you in so we can actually, hopefully, see it in action. Okay, can we zoom you in? Do we have the technology? That looks good, right? Okay. Let's go, Billy, come on. Well, you hear the difference in that? side as well that feels better I don't know what it looks like on the camera because I can't see the camera let's keep going well that definitely feels a lot better it's a lot smoother now um, up here seems to be okay it's just down the bottom there. I guess that's where all the, whenever it rains, that's where the moisture settles. And it just sits there. So, I'm gonna do one more little, one more little uh, glass just around the back there. Yeah, it's a lot better. It seems totally counterproductive to rub sandpaper against your chrome fork legs. But how else are you supposed to get rid of the pitting other than get them, you know, re-chromed and stuff? As of now, they're smoother than they was five, five minutes ago. Okay, that's good. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I think what I'll do before I put the mud guard back on, I'll give it a little, a little coat of ACF 50. Um, to hopefully stop that corrosion from coming back. Just a thin bit because I don't want I don't want too much stuff on here that's going to attract gunks. That's going to be that's going to totally you know ruin it. So I'm going to do a tiny bit of ACF 50, just enough to coat it, and that is it. We are done. Just on a bit of tissue, just like that. I think. Just a wee thin film. All oh, right, let's do the other side. Right. 
So yeah, this bike's got roughly, probably coming up to 50,000 miles on it now, which isn't a massive amount, but it's used every single day in all sorts of weathers. Um, so regardless of what condition these fork tubes are in now, it's, um, I think I think they've stood up pretty well, to be honest. Obviously it helps having that cover on it as well, that which, you know, deflects most of the, uh, the grime and the grit. Um, but I think it's just a case of staying on top of the um, the cleaning of them, you know, giving them a good clean, giving them a coat of whatever, WD-40, ACF-50, whatever you fancy. And I think it's wise not to put on too much because obviously you don't want, to, you don't want it to attract a lot of muck as well. Because every time your forks are going to compress, if there's grit on there, it's going to get pushed up into that seal. Uh, but yeah, I'll, def I'll definitely... Uh, if you haven't got one already get yourself a seal mate and you know how many times have your your fork seals leaked and you've had to and you've taken them to a mechanic to get them replaced when it could have been just a little bit of grit in there and you've done that and you could have saved yourself you know whatever it is a hundred quid or whatever all right that's it we're done take care guys see you soon bye that's better while I'm in the sort of process of tarting this bike up and making it, uh, bring it back to its glory days, I'm looking at these fog lights and look at the state of them. I know I keep saying that, you know, but look at the state. It's all sort of furry under there and, oh, that's bad. So I might take all this, this stuff is a uh, plasti dip and I'm gonna strip all this back as well, get rid of this rust. Sort that and repaint that and repaint that as well. That's all to come. All right.